Dodgers lowdown out here, Camelback Ranch, and I'm here with Justin Hoyt, left-handed reliever, Dodgers organization, Ogden stud. Justin, how you doing, man? Thanks for joining us. I'm doing well. Yeah, just uh, you know, I've been out here a while. Kind of, I had a, some kind of bicep tendonitis problem uh, coming out here. I came out for a program. I got stuck in rehab, so finally getting on the right track. I got like seven bullpens under my belt now, and I'm throwing live for the first time tomorrow. So I'm on the right track to hopefully. Um, make a full season squad coming up here, so we'll see what happens. But awesome, awesome. Now, so because of that, did you have to get out here a little earlier, or did you report at the pretty much the same time? This is your first spring training. Mm -hmm. So pretty much, I came out here for um, the gas program, the PP program that they put us through, the weighted balls and that, the drive line stuff. And yeah. um, I kind of took a lot of time off after the season. They said they didn't want me throwing anything, and I think my arm just. Didn't just kind of tightened up on me, so it yep. took me, and then like I got back into it, and I was going too quick back into it, and kind of uh, kind of flared up my shoulder a little bit. But um, luckily, I did come out then because I could, I got stuck in rehab, so I actually was able to be out here and go through all that to get healthy now. Because if I wouldn't have come out earlier, I'd be way behind already, sure. and I wouldn't have time to kind of get back to kind of uh, in, in in season form. So, um, so I'm kind of fortunate that that it worked out that way. Very good. Speaking of in season form. 2017 Ogden Raptors Pioneer League champions you closed out I think it was uh, well I mean you were closing down the mm -hmm. stretch so you closed out most of those playoff games obviously the championship game take us through that you know it's sometimes like in the off season just you know I'll go back and watch that video of that that moment and you know I'll get goosebumps from it and oh, just yeah. I'll, it's something I'll never forget just to that group of guys and uh, being able to be a big part of that team and kind of winning the championship with them and um, it's great seeing all the guys now coming back and everything we have a really close connection because of everything we went through and uh, I wouldn't trade that moment for anything um, I just it was something I'll never forget so it was I awesome bet. oh I bet congratulations yeah cherish that don't ever forget that yeah, we got our rings yeah on Saturday, a couple days so, ago right? yeah so it was nice having that little ceremony again and having uh, the owner back and um, getting to see Tom Kunis again coming back so yeah. Uh, so yeah, it was good to see everybody, and, um, and just looking ready, for, looking forward to the next season. So well, that brings me to my next question: 2018. Mm -hmm. What are your expectations for yourself, or do you not burden yourself with those things? Um, I mean, I, I put pretty high expectations on myself. I kind of some somehow normally, like in college, I came in and I kind of had to earn a spot there. And um, I, I was talking to you earlier where you know I was a walk-on in college. And, sure. Uh, I had to kind of prove myself every day going out there, and it's kind of the same thing I got to Ogden where, you know, I was the new guy there, and, you know, I had to prove myself a little bit and kind of start pitching. And um, I think even at every level you go to, you got to it, – it's a brand-new season, so you get, kind of got to take that, and no matter what happened last year, you still got to um, kind of earn that spot and kind of earn everybody's respect and, you know, eventually just try to be the absolute best you can be. So hopefully that's what I continue to do throughout my career and even in 2018, so – we expect nothing less, and uh, with your high expectations on yourself, we know that you're going to keep on pushing. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of time with us here. Con uh, congratulations once again Absolutely. on 2017, and good luck the rest Thank of the way in 2018. Thank you so much.